I'm gonna tell you how this thousand dollar high boy P6 fat tire e mountain bike is better than this $4,400 Suron X. Let's go for a ride. Subscribe today. Whatever you do, make sure you're wearing the gear to stay safe out there on the streets. And I have some awesome gear if you want to get it. I have links to everything, like this armored hoodie, which is awesome. My ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet that comes with an automatic tent shield, my motor vlog camera, airbag vest, all my gear. I include links in the description and comment section of this video. I know what you're thinking right off the jump. You're thinking, Psycho Cruzy, you're crazy, man. You're comparing a $4,200 bike to a thousand dollar bike, man. Are you out of your mind? Are you insane? The Suron X has got a 6,000 watt mid-drive motor and this has got a measly 750 watt Bafang, a rear hub motor. <laughs> 46 miles an hour versus 28 miles an hour. Cycle Cruise, are you crazy saying the Suron X is not as good as this high boy P6 26 inch fat tire e-mountain bike? You're crazy, Cycle Cruiser. What are you talking about, man? I, leave a comment below. Y'all, you know, if you think I'm what I'm getting ready to tell you is wrong, leave a comment. Let's talk about it. Because I'm, I'm fixing to keep it real in this video. Okay, I own this bike here. Okay, okay. I've had this since January 2022. I'm fixing to tell you the, 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 the ugly truth about this Saron X, all right? And how this bike destroys this bike uh, for the most part, okay? Uh, and by the way, this is 110 pounds versus 65 pounds. So these are two completely, almost completely different bikes here, man. But this bike, this $1,000 bike, destroys the Suron X when you go off-road, okay? Because this Suron X, even though it's a full suspension bike, and this just has the uh, hydraulic front fork on it, which, by the way, is way better than this trash suspension on here. This fork, look at this, guys. No matter how much you adjust on this, this joke of a, a fork here, look at this. It's like a pogo, look, look. It's like a pogo stick. It's garbage, man, okay? This front fork is legit. It's actually pretty good, man. Look at that. Oh my gosh, man. And when you take it off road, these measly, look at these wheels, guys. Look at it, 19 inch wheels versus 26 inch, look at that. These look like baby wheels, man. Look how skinny this are. Look how thick, four inches thick, man. This, th dude, I did a full review on this, by the way. If you haven't seen the video, I'll have a link in the top right corner. Go check it out, it's the last video I did. And by the way, if you wanna get this bike, which the actual cost right now is $1,050 with $100 off, if you use Cycle Cruise, I have the I have the link in the description and comment section of this video. Like I said, use Cycle Cruise. If you want to get this for $1,050 current pricing, now I know in the future it can fluctuate and change, but that's what it is currently right now. Now, some of you guys are saying right off the jump, Cycle Cruiser, you're probably paid, right, for this bike. And you, that's why you're, you're promoting this and you're pumping it up and all that. I wasn't paid a single dime. They contacted me to ask me, Cycle Cruiser, you want to test ride this and do a video on it? And I looked at it, looked at the specs, looked at a bunch of reviews on YouTube and online, did some research. I said, yeah, man, I like these bikes. That looks pretty cool. I love them fat tires. Uh, but I said, if I'm going to do a video on this, you need to give a discount to my audience of at least whatever, at least 100 bucks. And they said, good, fine. Just tell me you cycle cruiser. So that's what it is. That's what it's about, guys. Okay, they didn't pay me a single dime for this. But I told them, I said, if you send this bike and it's junk, it's going to get exposed on my channel because I don't play with my audience, man. I keep it real. I'm not going to have them buy no junk bike, okay? Um, and if it was real junk, I wouldn't even do a video on it, waste my time on it. They said, man, you'll like it. Sure enough, guys, when I took it out, I was blown away. Blown away. I never expected a $1,000 bike to ride like this, <laughs> especially off-road. And when it, like I said, off-road, it destroys this Suron X because the components now, the Suron X can be built up into an amazing bike, but you're gonna have to spend at least two to $4,000. You gotta upgrade the suspension front and rear. You gotta put on the fat, the bigger dirt bike wheels on here. And I, there's people that do it on YouTube, but it's expensive, man. I wasn't willing to pump thousands of dollars into a bike that I hardly ever ride, and you know why I don't ride it? And why I ride this little, before I got this high boy P6, I got this little hay bike here, this little tiny folding step-through hay bike. 
I ride that more than I do this because I like to get cardio. I don't like sitting in a gym riding a stationary uh, exercise bike looking at a TV. I'd rather be out there riding, looking at the view, everything, and go ride off-road and, and have fun with my cardio workout. There ain't no cardio workout to be had on the Surround, guys. Okay, no pedals. And you can add a pedal kit on the Surround X, but it's trash, guys. The only guys that put the pedal kit on the Surround X is for show. So the cops don't bother them, you know, when they're speeding on this. They'll say it's an e-bike, right? Um, but the actual pedal kit on here, you can't, it's not even really that functional, man. Okay, it's not good at all. This is, if you get, if you run out of battery power on this bike, you're not going to get stranded because this is a mountain bike. Without the power, it, it's a beautiful, like, regular mountain bike to ride on. Very smooth. And these, like I said, I'm addicted to these fat tires, man. I'm, I'm never going back. <laughs> Any mountain bike, e-bike, whatever I get is going to have to have some fat tires like this, at least as big as these, man. Because these things just float over everything. They... I didn't. I, I did a full review on it. Go check it out in the last video. Like I said, um, go check that out. But um, I took this in a two foot deep creek, okay, over slippery rocks on an extremely muddy day. Rode through that water like it was nothing. Didn't even budge. I, the trails were super saturated with with mud, and uh, this went through it like butter, like nothing. It cut through it. Not even a. Didn't even move out of line. I was amazed. And you, you know, this does 28 miles an hour versus 46, but when you go off-road, guys, 28 miles an hour is fast. When you go off off-road in the woods on a tight trail, that's pretty fast, man. <laughs> on the street, yes, in a straight line, the Suron X, ripping the throttle, it's amazing. It's got a lot of bottom-end grunt torque. And, uh, you know, get you 46 miles an hour. It's, it's got so much torque, bottom-end torque, which made me love the bike at first was uh, I looped a wheelie on this because it had so much bottom end grunt. And, <laughs> and, but you get tired of just riding in a straight line. Like I said, you can't get no cardio workout. So just cranking a throttle in a straight line, yeah, it's fun here and there sometimes, but it gets boring doing that. You want to go ride off-road. That's where you're going to have fun. It's challenging. Give you more of a, I'll, I'll give you a cardio workout and everything. And like I said, this bike, it sucks off-road, man. Unless you, like I said, put some components on it but like I said this one <laughs> these fat tires man I'm telling you I put it through everything I rode up stairs I rode up thick stairs guys you know what I'm saying these little 19 inch wheels ain't going over nothing guys I had a hell of a time getting this up over any logs or anything this 26 inch wheel these things go over everything man I'm in utter shock with this bike I'm telling I can't it's hard to believe that you get this <laughs> A bike like this for a thousand dollars, guys. An iPhone, an iPhone Pro Max or whatever you call it, the new big one, is more five hundred dollars more expensive than this bike, guys. <laughs> it's unreal, man. And this bike's one hundred and ten pounds versus sixty-five pounds. You know what I'm saying? So it's lighter weight. The only way this beats this bike, like I said, is the battery. The battery on this and the power. You know what I'm saying? The range, as far as the range, this is supposedly 20 to 60 miles. Um, full throttle on this thing, you're not getting probably 20 miles even. This is, you get 30 miles, full electric, and I think 60, about, I haven't fully tested it yet, a uh, full charge on it, because we've been getting a ton of rain. But they say you can get up to 60 miles with full pedal assist. Okay. This, like I said, this doesn't have the full mind-blowing torque like, you know, electric motorcycles and like this bike has, where it's a lot of bottom end torque you know what i'm saying this is just your normal e-bike power like other other e-bikes but like i said where it excels is when you take it off road and it's fun on the road too just getting your little cardio cruise in you know what i'm saying but when you take this bad boy off road it's shocking it's shocking like i said they usually give you a cheap fork a junk fork but this fork is all right it's it blows this one away <laughs> this forty two hundred dollar surround man I'm keeping it real with you guys, man. I just, I'm ready to sell this sap sucker because I don't even ride it. Because when I want to get on one of these little bikes, I want to go get a cardio workout and I want to go, you know, ride off road. And like this one, I'm scared to ride off road because it's, it's just, it's all over the place, man. Because those crap tires and the suspension. I crashed the first time I went on a proper mountain bike trail with this Surron X, the front washed out on me, man. And that was during dry conditions. I couldn't imagine if I rode that in that, that muddy conditions like I did this high boy P6 yesterday, man. 
But like I said, if I had to do it over again, guys, had I got this bike, I would have never bought this, probably bought this Suron X, man. I'll be honest with you guys. I feel like I wasted $4,200 because I don't want to blow another two, three, four thousand dollars into this for it to sit in the garage. Like I said, I'm not getting a cardio workout on this like I am this bike. So I'm probably going to end up selling this sap sucker, man. But it is fun, the power. Don't get me wrong, like I said. But that gets kind of lame after a while, man. You want to, this one's more versatile. The cardio workout, then you can ride it off road and you can have fun. And, um, and you don't have to worry about getting stranded. Like I said, if the battery dies on this, you got a bicycle that's going to get you home, man. This one, it dies. You're calling for a tow or you're walking that bad boy on the side of the road home, man. That's just the way it is. But, anyways, leave a comment below. Tell me, guys, uh, what you think. Am I. How do you feel about the Suron and this bike? And uh, what do you think about these bikes? Let's talk about it, man. But make sure you hit thumbs up. It really helps my channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Hit that little bell symbol so you get notified when my new videos come out. But, but I'll release new videos every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I got a bunch of new motorcycle videos coming. So stay tuned. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.